Greetings to all of you. Now we are going to see part 2 which is the importance of faith. That is from Ephesians chapter 6:16. In all circumstances take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one. See? You can take the shield of faith. in the roman weapons the shield paul he is writing having seen the Lo- roman soldiers when he was in the house arrest and uh, soldiers were guarding paul so the soldiers attire he is interpreting in terms of uh, spiritual truth so here the shield is taken as the shield of faith because devil is a uh, opponent for us and he will try to <coughs> destroy your faith so take the shield of faith and stand against <coughs> all forms of doubts the evil one try to throw so the importance of faith the shield of faith is a vital part of the christian armor okay paul has taken from seeing the roman soldiers you are to put on the whole armor of god that is ephesians 6 10 to 18 if you want I'll read it finally be strong in the lord and in the strength of his might put on the whole armor of god that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers and against the authorities against the cosmic power over this present darkness against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places therefore take up the whole armor of god that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand firm stand therefore having fastened on the belt of truth your belt is the truth and having put on the breastplate of righteousness righteousness on the chest and uh, and as shoes of your feet having put on the readiness given by the gospel of peace we should always have ready to answer to anyone about the gospel of peace in all circumstances take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation why it is so your mind is the battleground so it is referred to helmet so your salvation he will try to question many people will try to question and don't yield them if you are in christ you are saved because once many people they question once saved always saved yes if the salvation is by jesus christ the one and the only savior you are saved forever because and he is going to see that you are saved at most to the utmost and uh, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god so praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication to that end keep alert with all perseverance making supplication praying for all the saints so the word of god is the only offensive a uh, weapon here take the word of god and pray accordingly for all the saints and the rulers and the kings and the nations and your own family and your fight in the midst of suffering okay because the christian life is a warfare that's why paul says i fought the good fight of faith a spiritual conflict as paul names the different parts of the christian armor he comes to the shield and emphasizes it the importance by saying above all above all taking the shield of faith for with the shield of faith nothing can hurt you you are more than conquerors through him see romans 8:37 let's see what it says no you know all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us god loved us and he gave his son jesus christ he loved us and through the spirit of god the love is poured into our heart when we are justified the importance of faith is seen in that we are going to see about uh, 12 points in this okay the importance of faith first we will see um 
you can't be saved without faith so see how much it, the importance in the salvation john 3:36 says whoever believes in the son has eternal life whoever does not obey the son shall not see life but the wrath of god remains on him so faith is important ariel akra faith is important in our salvation it's very very necessary okay and then the second point is you cannot live victoriously over the world without faith one cannot live victoriously over the world without faith first john chapter 5 4 for everyone who has been born of god overcomes the world for everyone who has been born of god overcomes the world and this is the victory that has overcome the world even our faith faith in jesus christ which he is the author and he is the perfecter point number 3 you cannot please god without faith which we have already seen hebrew 11 6 and without faith it is impossible to please god for whoever would draw near to god must believe that god exists and that he rewards those who seek god so this is point number 3 point number 4 you cannot pray without faith james it talks about james of brother of jesus has written that but let him ask in faith with no doubting for the one who doubts is like a wave in the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind see so without faith that means even for prayer we need to have faith many people they doubt their salvation they say whether i will go to heaven or not even some old people those who are serving god they have this doubt double minded man cannot receive anything from god the scripture says so be make sure that you have the faith so you cannot have peace without peace with god without faith see therefore since we have been justified by faith we have peace with god through our lord jesus christ you see roman chapter 4 which talks about the justification a free justification not through the law or by not by the work but it is a free justification romans 4 and the example who was taken is abraham abraham believed and it was counted to him for righteousness so the same thing so romans 5 talks about the end result of justification that means peace has been poured into our heart in and through jesus christ by the holy spirit so you cannot have peace without faith in god by faith you are justified and after justification the peace has come into our heart through holy spirit you cannot make joy have joy without faith peter talks about it first peter 1:8 though you have not seen him you love him though you do not now see him you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory see we don't see christ we don't see god anything but still we believe this is what exactly faith faith is a noun believe is a verb we keep believing in because of the faith god began in us in an, in his son okay without see you don't need to see so this is what we have so you can't have joy without faith so you are justified by faith not by works galatian 2:16 which is said yet we know that a person is not justified by works of the law but through faith in jesus christ so we also have believed in christ jesus in order to be justified by faith in christ and not by works of the law because by works of the law no one will be justified it is written very clearly to galatians because galatians were troubled by the jewish people that you have to become a a jew first 
and that is called proselytization you know they want to convert them into jew and through judaism and they have to become a believer so that is wrong that is what paul was against it so you are to live by faith having been justified by your faith you have to live by faith that is uh, that is also is writing point number 8 galatian 220 i have been crucified with christ it is no longer i who live uh, but christ who lives in me and the life that i now live in the flesh i live by faith in the son of god who loved me and gave himself for me that means no more i but the i has become christ so the christ liveth in us by faith and that faith see you want to live with the same faith you have to live so point number 9 what it says you are made righteous by faith romans we have already seen 10 1 to 4 brothers my heart's desire to and prayer to god for them is that they may be saved for i bear them witness that they have a zeal for god but not according to the knowledge see <coughs> jews <coughs> they don't have the proper knowledge but they have the zeal that is religious zeal we found in other religious people they don't have the knowledge of god they don't have the knowledge of truth just simply they have religious zeal that is from the common adversary the devil so all religion no religion is of god really god's way is a person who is jesus the christ for i bear them witness that they have a zeal for god but not according to the knowledge of the truth or knowledge of god for being ignorant of the righteousness of god and seeking to establish their own they did not submit to god's righteousness if someone is not submitting themselves to the righteousness of god it is because they are ignorance is the worst enemy in the faith life ignorance of truth is the worst enemy ignorance of god is the worst enemy for any man okay for christ is the end of the law of righteousness to everyone who believes so this is very important you are made righteous by faith in the son of god jesus the christ number 10 christ dwells in your heart by faith ephesians 3:17 it says so that christ may dwell in your hearts through faith that you being rooted and grounded in love christian life after the salvation you should be rooted in christ jesus today we see people the prosperity preachers and there are many people they are prophesying these days they are not rooted in the word of god neither rooted in the son of god neither rooted in the truth properly that is why they go deceiving the people now we are at the year end be careful about uh, people those who uh, prophesy we don't need prophecies we don't need prophecy the old testament is the prophecies and the prophets and the law and the revelation says uh, once the canon of the scripture is over so what the prophecy the spirit of prophecy is nothing but the testimony of jesus christ instead of bearing witness and testifying christ to others they in they think they speak something on the pulpit holding the scripture and they are prophesying that is wrong be careful about them so christ dwells in your heart by faith we have already seen okay so number 11 the holy spirit is received by faith galatian 32 let me ask you only this did you receive the spirit by works or the law or by hearing with faith so the holy spirit we received by faith many people they work to receive faith And invariably they destroy the people you speak open your mouth say something the when you say blah blah and you receive the holy spirit dear brothers and sisters don't do that the every true believers has the abiding presence of the holy spirit in them that's all i can say i don't want and i have come across various experiences what people are trying to do okay number 12 whatsoever is not of faith is sin 
that's what roman says roman chapter 14 verse 23 but whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats this is in relation to the food that we eat and which can be applied to others as well but whoever has doubts is condemned if he eats because the eating is not from faith for whatever does not proceed from faith is sin okay we are not controlled so we will not be a, a wine bibber or we will not be a gluttonous you eat whatever you want even paul sometimes they say when they are hungry if you go to a temple if you happen to eat fill your hungry it is not sin okay because the idols are nothing as far as we concern idols are not god so whether it is uh, cooked there or elsewhere it is a food that's all that kind of conviction and faith we should grow in that is a maturity that you are growing in so we cannot condemn it so faith is important because it honors god and god always honors faith god honors your faith so there are 12 points which i have given you cannot be, you cannot be saved without faith you can't live victoriously without the without the <coughs> over the world without faith you cannot live victoriously over the world without faith you cannot please god without faith you cannot pray without faith and you cannot have peace with god without faith and you cannot have joy without faith you are justified by faith and not by works and you are to live by faith and you are made righteous by faith okay that is justification otherwise called christ dwells in your heart by faith through the holy spirit the holy spirit is received by faith in jesus christ he is otherwise called the spirit of christ so whatsoever is not a faith in christ right kind of faith is sin so whatsoever is not a faith is sin so faith is important because it honors god to honor god you can do anything you have to believe that god is and is the rewarder of all those who believe and god always honors faith so always remain within the honor of god okay having faith in his one and only son jesus christ and through whom he has done god in his son jesus the christ identified with us and he has done everything that is essential for our life so you have that faith and god honors you and you will remain in the circle of god honoring you so stay blessed may god bless you in the days to come i wish you well amen